Hey, it's Dr. Marcus Chakos with Author Mastering. Today I want to talk to you about how you can come up with titles for your book and topic areas for your book within the context of looking at titles. And I'm here before my in-practice library. Hey, if we've got a lending library, we want to make sure our, our, our patients are, are you know, reading and inspiring themselves with their health and their well-being. But for you, I want to inspire you to one, know that you can write a book in an area of your interest and how to come up with topic areas if you're uncertain. And it's much more easy than you would ever imagine. So. I just lined up a couple of books here. You could go through any of these books and seriously, easily find a book title that would be relevant to chiropractic and to your area of interest. Now, in other videos and other content, I've spoken about understanding the idea of a niche, which is your area of expertise or interest. So once you have that niche, that area of interest, you need to start coming up with a topic area or a title for your book. So sometimes it's really easy to just look at books that are there and use those as an idea to stimulate what it is that you're after. So I'm just going to pick up a book and I'm going to go through this book and give you a reference of how you may be able to take that idea and utilize it within your own you know, book writing process. So Nathaniel Brandon, Six Pillars of Self-Esteem, incredible book, loved this book. I look at that and I go, the Six Pillars of Health, you know. You put your name there, Six Pillars of Health. I mean, the definitive work on self-esteem by leading a pioneer in the field, it could be the Six Pillars of Health or the Seven Pillars of Health, how many you have created, the Eight Pillars of Health, whatever it is, the definitive work on creating health, energy and vitality and leading an extraordinary quality of life. So as you can see, you take an idea and you put it into that context. But let's just say your niche or area of expertise is, mine happens to be arthritis, so I look at that. It could be the Six Pillars of uh, the six pillars of the arthritis solution. For me, it would be the seven pillars, but you can see it could be a follow-up book. Or you might be working in stress and it might be the six pillars of managing stress. So great topic, great title, not necessarily, but you can see six pillars of health make perfect sense. But let's keep going. Let's pick up another book, The Vitamin Bible. That becomes an idea for another book as well. So it could be the Chiropractic Bible or the Exercise Bible or the Lifestyle Bible. And as a subheading, you've got how, how the, or the Arthritis Bible, or the uh, physiolo uh, the Exercise, I spoke, spoke about the Exercise one, but you know, you can see what I'm doing, I'm just making things up off the top of my head. Your job is to do the same. But the subheading, how, to, how the right vitamins and minerals can revolutionize your life. So in here, it could be the Chiropractic Bible, how optimizing your nervous system for peak health transforms your quality of life. You can just see I'm taking that and using that as fodder within my mind to, to be generative, to create new thoughts and ideas about the direction I can take my writing or my areas of interest. Books as inspiration, I love this. Nothing to do with health. By the way, great book, John Maxwell, one of my favorite authors of all time. The 17 Indisputable Laws of Teamwork. What about having the 10 undeniable truths about chiropractic or the 12 indisputable actions a person must take if they want to be healthy and energetic. Again, not a great title, but you can see what I'm doing with this is I'm starting to look at laws or, or maybe just get rid of the 17 indisputable and say laws of healing or the 10 natural laws of healing, the actions you need to take to transform your health today. So what I'm doing here is I go through book by book I'm starting to look at generative ideas around general health or around general chiropractic, but we can start getting a little bit more specific. And again, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just picked up some books and I looked at the titles. Absolute Happiness, The Whole Untold Story. <sighs> okay, Absolute Happiness. Um, unconditional Living. Unconditional Living, The Whole Untold, well, The Whole Untold Story, don't really like that. Unconditional Living, the unequivocal path to transforming your life. And in there you might have chapter one, how chiropractic restores integrity to the spine and nervous system and unleashes your prefrontal cortex to greater potential. Step two, and we then bring in the three T's, how you must manage your physical, biochemical, emotional, mental framework to be able to experience the life you want. And then again, you've just written, you could talk about that for hours, all of those nervous system, physical, chemical, emotional, and how that unchains the prefrontal cortex to experience an extraordinary quality of life. That idea alone has just produced a potential book for someone. Let's keep going. Instant confidence, instant health. The power to go for anything you want. Instant health, the power to experience the life you desire. 
Secrets of small business owners exposed. Secrets, oh, let's look at this one for a moment. The secrets of chiropractic lifestyle coaches exposed. I mean, I don't like that, but I'm bringing the secrets into it. Um, the untold secrets of chiropractic healing. How you can achieve more than you imagined. And again, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. I'm not saying these are great titles or necessarily the titles you should follow, but I'm showing you that you can have these generative approaches to ideas. What about secrets to optimizing your nervous system for peak performance if you're a neuroscience-based chiropractor? Or what about if you are a family wellness chiropractor? Secrets of healthy families exposed and how you bring chapters into that of pediatric care or uh, prenatal care, pediatric care, pregnancy care, postnatal care, mother and child care. I mean, so many options. Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens, obviously based on the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. This Sean Covey's book is also fantastic for the kids. Seven Habits of Highly Effective Healers. I mean, I don't know that I'd copy that title, but you can see where we're going with that. Or it might be the seven success habits of people who experience extraordinary health. Or what are the seven habits for people who overcome pain and limitation? You might have headaches as an area. The seven habits of headache the seven, ha or the, the seven pillars for resolving um, back pain, neck pain, and headache. So again, I'm not really happy with that. I've got to finish with something that I'm really happy with, but you can see what I'm doing with that idea. Let's just, I don't know, I'm going to pick one. Pick one, I don't know. Wisdom of menopause. I just picked that out of the blue. The wisdom of the body, the innate capacity to heal, regenerate, and repair. How your body can self-heal, self-organize, and self-regulate to experience the incredible health that you desire, that you deserve, whatever the case that that might be. I know this was a long video, and I know I went you know, through a whole host of processes, but what I wanted you to take away from this video is you can walk through your library, you can pick up a book and realize it doesn't have to be a topic area, but it generates ideas for you. But if you then go to books that you have specific interest in, let's. I'm just going to really quickly grab something. There, there must be something in here on health or pain or let me keep I'm looking I'm looking I'm looking ultimate wellness all right all right ultimate wellness three step plan so what we've done here is again we've picked up a book that's relevant now we don't want to copy her book we want and again this is not a chiropractic book but what we want to do is we want to stimulate this within our own area so you might call it ultimate chiropractic health. No, I don't think you should do that for your community presentation, but you might call it ultimate health, the seven step plan to transform your health and quality of life. And what are those seven steps? Well, you'll know what your own blueprint for health and healing and the care that you deliver is. And it might not be seven steps, it could simply be three. It might be adjust the spine, deliver exercises, improve diet and nutrition, and restore emotional and mental well-being. So in that way, it's ultimate health, the four step plan. And so what you can do is you can look at any book and put it in the context of your own level of interest or your expertise, but transform that again from ultimate health. And again, you might be in the area of um, exercise again, the ultimate four-step plan for peak performance in, in improving for, for peak performance with uh, exercise and whatever it is that you, the outcome that you achieve. Or it could be that you deal with family wellness care, ultimate family health, the three, the four step plan to creating the family, uh, a family health experience that creates overwhelming joy. So as I said, not really great as a starting point, but that's the whole point. Write that down, write 10 examples down, keep refining, drafting and improving until you get to the point where you go, that's my title, that's my topic, I'm gonna write that book and then away you go. I know you can do this, I look forward to being able to helping you at some point writing your book. Mm -hmm.